Pisces, you got some people afraid to get on your bad side, okay? I don't know what's going on in this dynamic, Pisces, but you are sitting in the queen of wands position, whether you're male or female. And the message coming in is some people are afraid to get on your bad side, okay? Because they're afraid that you're going to cut them off, okay? Like straight up. You don't play any games, Pisces. You're not, when you're done, you're done, okay? Like that's it. It's the end. They don't exist to you. They're dead to you kind of situation. So nine of swords. Someone is deep in thought, Pisces, thinking it's too late, okay? Like they don't want to get on your bad side because they don't want to be exiled okay they don't want to be cut out you know out of your life okay they pisces they may have tried to like test you or maybe even like play some games with you the nine of swords talks about the minds have tried to play some mind games they may have said some things you know that i don't know what they did pisces whoever this person is they were losing sleep pisces they're losing sleep at night okay nine of swords as you can see here there's a pillow and I'm not sure if the camera is focusing, but that's a bed, okay, back there. So this person is up at night thinking, like, this is the end, okay? Like, they may think, Pisces, that you're done with them, okay? Um, and I just keep hearing, you're dead to me, okay? So I don't know for who that is, Pisces, but this person knows, okay, that you don't play any games. And maybe in the past, they were like, oh, Pisces wouldn't do that, okay? Like, Pisces has been around, Pisces is nice, Pisces is kind, you know? Like, Pisces wouldn't do that. Like, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting from them, Pisces. And now, Nine of Swords, Pisces, Nines are about conclusions, okay? I think you, you closed the door on some people here, Pisces. I think that you... You may have closed the door, maybe you didn't lock it kind of situation, okay? Sometimes people keep the door open, you know, one foot in, one foot out kind of situation. But I think you actually closed the door, okay? Or there's a tiny little crack, okay, on that door, you know, last chance kind of situation to get it right. Uh, but some people are afraid, Pisces, that you're about to cut them out, you know, for good. Uh, and this Nine of Swords is saying... They're in their mind, they're overthinking, replaying conversations, retracing back to old messages, old conversations to see what they said, what they did. Uh, like to you, Pisces, maybe you're like, it should be obvious, okay? Like what you said, what you did. Maybe it was an energy that they gave off. Maybe they said something, you know, across the boundary or, you know, some kind of disrespect. You know, I don't know what happened in this dynamic, but the Queen of Wands is saying, Pisces, you're in your power, okay? Doesn't matter if you're male or female, the Queen of Wands is a position of power, is a position of status. Um, and it's also a very electric magnetic energy meaning that you do get a lot of attention meaning you do have a lot of eyes on you meaning that you are attracting the things that you want to you okay and the black cat sitting right beneath her represents your luck okay you are lucky okay um you are lucky you are getting lucky in the season of your life okay all these candles all this fire around you pisces a lot of people may feel very drawn to your energy at this time okay um it's a very alluring magnetic energy but it's different okay there's this there's this fire there's this passion queen of cups has a very alluring energy okay she represents uh the fantasies the planet of neptune but the queen of wands is this fire okay like there's this fire i'm feeling sacral chakra root chakra solar plexus but mainly sacral okay all this orange represents your sacral chakra so i feel pisces here that your sacral chakra is either going through an activation or an upgrade but the energy is very intense so you may be seeing orange a lot okay um, or this is a chakra that you may want to work on, but I'm feeling that it's fully activated, okay? Uh, you may have cleared some things out of your life, but this is going to provide you a lot of creativity, a lot of energy, a lot of power, a lot of confidence uh, to go after things that you want at this time, Pisces. And I feel like it's in line with the seasons because we are coming into springtime, summertime, and I feel this energy rising in you, Pisces. Uh, but yeah, Nine of Swords. You got some people, Pisces, overthinking things, okay? What did they say? What did they do? How did they get on Pisces' bad side? Why did Pisces put them to the bottom of the roster kind of situation? Like, some people, Pisces, are craving, okay? Starving for your attention. Um, and I don't want to say it in a like egotistical way okay but this is the depiction of the cards okay this is someone deep in thought okay all these birds represent all the voices all the thoughts everything going on in the mind space okay this is someone who is yeah like in almost a fetal position okay you know deep in thought okay uh this person is restless this person is overthinking things while you're over here shining pisces 
I just heard baby I'm back, okay? I don't know what that means. I don't know for who that is, but Pisces, I feel like you're you're in your groove. Like you got your juju back, okay? Like you're really feeling yourself, okay? Some of you Pisces, you may feel the need to get ready or to wear a certain kind of outfit or to go out more or you know, to go lay out in the sun kind of situation. Like I just feel this very like warm energy coming off of you. Like you got a lot of you got a very magnetic aura, okay? But you got a lot of energy exuding out of you, okay? Like it's not just it's not just that you're attracting, you're also exuding a lot of energy, Pisces, okay? You're in your power and they're like deep in thought, okay? This person is restless and I'm getting Pisces, it may not only be one person. You may have multiple people thinking that they got on your bad side, okay? That they're cut out from your life, okay? Um, and when I was Pisces, I was actually not planning to even read right now I was on my way to the park to go walk my dogs and um, literally I was already making my smoothie bowl Changed ready to go out the door and spirit said channel. Okay, like channel this message Okay, so this is like on a whim last minute. I wasn't planning to do this. So I feel like this is very specific reading Pisces But I just heard like you're dead to me. Okay, like I don't know for who that applies but what i do know about pisces is when a pisces cuts you out of their life it's done okay like you no longer exist in their reality like pisces is not the type to play games of okay i'm gonna pull my energy away see what happens or i'm gonna do this to get this kind of reaction like when a pisces is done they're done they're not playing games you don't exist to them you're dead like that's one thing that i know for a fact for pisces like this is a pisces channel i read for pisces i'm a pisces i have a lot of pisces in my family like you don't really play games like that so I'm seeing Pisces that someone might have not thought that you were gonna do that, okay? Like, and I just heard try me, okay? So I don't know for who this is Pisces, but this is a full on channeled message because again, I wasn't planning to even do this. Um, yeah, but I heard try me Pisces. I feel like a lot of people, like when someone comes into your life Pisces, like you like, you're really open, like you're really loving, you're really caring, like you're you, okay? Like um, maybe you even give people the benefit of the doubt until they give you a reason not to trust them, like you're just open, okay? Like you're an open book, like you're loving, you're caring, you know, kind of situation. But when they give you a reason not to trust you, it's like you shut down, okay? Like your energy goes ice cold, okay? That warmth in your eyes and your smile, it goes ice cold, okay? There's a distance, there's a blockage, okay? There's, there's a barrier, okay? There's space that is placed between you and that person and they can feel it energetically like they'll know even if they don't have you know their intuition on point even if they don't have like even if they don't understand about energy and you know all the you know how energy works really like people know okay like they can feel when you pull your energy away especially you pisces because your energy tends to amplify okay you cannot say a word in a room but your energy is loud okay so that's the thing about you pisces with the queen of wands you also have this energy Pisces of a lot of abundance around you, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is like the Midas touch, okay? The Empress and the Ten of Pentacles have that power, Pisces, that everything that you initiate at this time, it's like you got that Midas touch. It will prosper, it will be abundant, but you gotta follow through, okay? It's not so much of like, you gotta get lucky with it or you know, you gotta see what sticks. No, you just simply gotta follow through with it, okay? And it will be successful. So there is this energy, Pisces, of a come up, of success, of abundance, of prosperity. This is literally the wealthiest card out of the entire tarot deck, okay? And you got it on your spread, 10 of pentacles. So people can feel your rise, Pisces. People can feel your come up. They know you're going places. This is what I don't like about a lot of people. It's like they like to keep all these people around, keep all these doors open, you know? And you're kind of the entire opposite. You're quality over quantity, okay? Your circle is small. You're a lone wolf. You don't feel the need to, you know, be connected or entertain all these people or share your energy with all these people. Like, that's not you, Pisces. You're very reserved and that's why your energy holds that power, okay? Because it's not spread out everywhere, okay? Where some people have very bad spiritual energetic hygiene, okay? Meaning they share it with just anybody, okay? Like their energy is just like out there um, and not in a good way, okay? Like that's bad spiritual hygiene because you also need to reserve energy for yourself. You also need to clear that energy um, so that it's focused, so that it's purposeful, okay? Again, you don't just keep people around just to keep people around. You don't just keep tabs on people. It's like, are you in it? Are you not, okay? Like, are like, is it black? Is it white? Like, for you, it's not like you want to keep all these doors open. It's like, you want to know who's on your team, who's on your side, um, 
And it's like, if, if they're not really there, Pisces, you're going to close that door, okay? So Nine of Swords, someone thinks Pisces, like, they, like, messed it up here, okay? They think that you're on, they're on your bad side, okay, kind of situation, and that you cut them off, or that you already closed the door, or that you're losing interest. But I'm seeing, Pisces, this is a nine. It's not yet a ten, okay? It's not yet a ten. Nine means conclusion, meaning they have a small chance to make things right with you. Just yet, a 10, it's done. It's de it's like a closed cycle, it's a done deal, it's completed. A nine is a conclusion, meaning they have a sliver of a chance, okay, to make things right, okay? So I don't know for who this is, Pisces, but if someone got on your nerves, if someone disrespected you, if someone crossed a boundary here, or have you seen a side to someone that, you know, you started to reconsider the relationship or the friendship or the connection, they got a sliver, okay? A tiny little sliver, but that door is closing, okay? Uh, and I can already feel it, Pisces, and it's not like you're doing this from a negative place. You're just so focused on yourself, Pisces, that you're realizing that some people are just not meant to be there. Not everybody deserves to be in your energy, Pisces. Just because you have it doesn't mean you have to give it. Just because you can doesn't mean that you have to do it, okay? Because that's when people start to take your kindness for weakness. That's when people start to take advantage uh, or, you know, take advantage of your generosity or how loving and how giving you are, okay? Pisces, like, you are that kind of, like, ride or die friend. So for the people that you love, for the people that you care about, like, like, they're protected they're fully in your embrace like they're in your energy like you're gonna be there for them but you're not gonna keep the door open for all these other people where you don't really know where they stand where they're wishy-washy where you've seen certain sides to them where you know it's like this is the thing Pisces when you meet new people it's like you may give them the benefit of the doubt but once they show you a side of them that you don't align with that you don't agree with okay where they cross that line or you see them flip-flopping okay it's kind of like a person Pisces that will come to you and talk negative about another person okay and it's like oh okay well if you do this to other people then you you, you sure as heck do this behind my back okay that kind of situation it doesn't mean that they did something directly towards you maybe they did for some of you okay um but it's kind of like once you see that side of a person it's like how they treat other people, okay, is like how they're gonna end up treating you. So it's like, you don't really wanna take any chances is what I'm getting here, Pisces. So whoever this person is, they know, Pisces, that they're on your last, like, they're on your, I don't wanna say your last nerve, okay, because I'm not getting that you're upset. I'm not getting that you're angry at anyone, Pisces. I'm getting that you're very self-focused at this time. But this person is like overthinking it, Pisces, losing sleep in their thoughts. They think you don't care anymore. Um, and maybe Pisces, this was a person that was playing games to see how much you care. How would you react? Okay, like, uh, I don't know, Pisces. It's like they ended up playing themselves is what I'm getting here with the Nine of Swords. And I will go ahead and clarify, Nine of Swords is air energy. So it represents uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be that sign. I'm also getting a fire sign, Pisces. Maybe upset or maybe you know, doubting if they still, like, if they can still make their way back into your life, okay? Like, they think that you no longer care, that you lost interest, okay? Um, and again, this could be a friendship, this could be a relationship, someone that had some kind of interest in you, someone that wanted to build with you, okay? They know that you're going places, Pisces, and they feel this energy of abundance and success, okay? This energy that you are a go-getter, okay? It's like a lot of people, Pisces, may want to just keep you in their life and may want to just test and try from time to time to see if they still have access to you okay but what i'm getting here pisces is to be in your field to be in your life it's by referral only by invitation only kind of situation you don't just share yourself with everybody you don't just allow people to have access to you like that okay so i don't know pisces you may even be getting random texts from old friends like back in the day people that you used to know uh you may have even like you may even have excess Pisces or old people that used to be in your life checking up on your social media, rereading old conversations, a random email coming in, a random phone call from an unknown number. Like that's what I'm getting, Pisces. Some people want to see if they still have access to your energy, okay? And I'm getting for a lot of you, Pisces, you don't really answer your phone calls, okay? Uh, for a lot of people that do call you, okay? Like it's like there's only a certain amount of people that are in your inner circle that you really care, that you're really down for, okay? But everybody else, they don't have access to you like that, okay? So Nine of Swords, someone here recently is like, they're afraid they got on your bad side and that you no longer care, okay? At first, they may have started to play games with you and they may have thought that you were also playing games, but it's like, no, like, you're done, okay? Like, this is not a game. Um, Nine of Swords, Pisces, Nine of Swords. 
who is I'm getting Pisces that this may not just be one person it may be multiple people that lost access to you Pisces okay like the free trial is over B okay like that kind of situation like you revoked their access to your energy and to your life okay and and they're overthinking this Pisces again they're losing sleep you live rent free in their mind okay whereas you give them little to no thought at all you got bigger and better things Pisces this is what okay things in your personal life things in your reality okay are starting to rise okay like starting to go good uh again the black cat represents you're about to get lucky okay in your life okay in your personal endeavors so when it comes to people that just want to keep tabs um you know it's just like you're not really invested like that okay are they in it with you are they on your side are they in your corner or not okay it's a yes or no it's a black or a white you know it's either the door is closed or it's open okay but you're not gonna keep one foot in one foot out and i'm getting pisces this person is on the last like you know like they're on their last opportunity to make things right um if you're even gonna consider okay because the nine is saying the door is already closing this is the conclusion okay the nine is before the ten. Ten means it's close completed done and over okay um, so let me go ahead and clarify before I say anything else, Pisces. I feel like, Pisces, again, I wasn't even going to channel, okay? But this was very, very specific. And as I split the deck, I have a Knight of Cups, okay? And I have a Nine of Cups in the reverse. Some, some of the people, Pisces, that you have cut out of your life, they view you as the one that got away, as the missed opportunity, okay? Like, they may have tried to, like, test you or, like, try you in a, in a way, Pisces, to see if they still had access to your energy. And for a lot of them, they found out that they were blocked and deleted, okay? For a lot of them, they found out that maybe you even changed your number, you moved, okay? Like, that kind of situation, like, they don't exist in your world, they don't exist in your reality, Okay, like you don't give people from your past much thought kind of situation. Like when you move on, when you exile someone out of your life, like they're dead to you. They didn't, they never happened. It never existed kind of situation. It's like you cut those cords. Yeah, for good, Pisces. And it doesn't come from, you know, a negative place. It comes from a place of like you're ready to let go and just move on. Okay, like you're not the one to just hold on to things like that. Okay, nine of swords. Pisces, this person, this person tested you okay and it's like they found out very very quickly okay like they felt your energy detach almost instantaneously okay like the warmth in your smile the warmth in your eyes like it was ice cold okay like i don't know if they said something if they just acted nonchalant um if they were just a little bit careless like i don't know what happened in this dynamic pisces but you turned cold okay like maybe even your words were cold towards them um but yeah, it's like they thought, oh, Pisces is going to get over it. Oh, like, I'm just going to wait till Pisces gets over it until I talk to them. But before they know it, it's like your energy was gone. There was just way too much distance to close the space. And now they're in their head because it's not working, okay? Maybe they tried calling you, texting you. It's just not working anymore. In Pisces, a lot of you, okay, this may be multiple people trying to get in your good graces. But I'm, I'm just getting Pisces that there's no animosity. There's no hate here. You're just moving on. You're just moving forward, okay? Queen of Wands, you got a lot going on in your life, Pisces. There's a lot to be excited for, okay? And this is the only energy that you want to be around, okay? They don't make you feel good. They're not going to be in your life is what I'm getting, Pisces. If these people are takers, if these people took your energy for granted, yeah, I'm getting Pisces like someone's carelessness got them cut out of your life, okay? Like that's very specific. Someone was careless with your energy, with your time. I, I don't know, okay, Pisces? But I'm getting that this is more than one, okay? More than one. Maybe even multiple people trying to get back in your life, trying to regain access. But the access has been revoked, okay? The free trial is over. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Clarify this Nine of Swords for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about this Nine of Swords energy? For some of you Pisces, I heard you're willing to listen to see what they got, okay? Like, if someone's trying to make it right with you, it's like, you may even be willing to listen, okay? Some of you may not, okay? But the nine is a conclusion, meaning it's closing, okay? One step away from the ten, and then you're done, okay? It's, it's over. Uh, but for one of these people, or a few of these people, like, you may even um, reconsider, okay? Listening to what they have to say. Okay, I, I don't know for who that is, Pisces. That was very specific. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Exactly. This is your energy, Pisces. I keep getting the Eight of Cups in a lot of your readings. And this is you walking away. Okay. Um, 
they they're feeling regret pisces okay they're feeling regret because they drove you away okay like they said something they did something um maybe even just like energetically okay but they were the reason why okay you walked away like you don't just randomly like get up and leave okay like it wasn't random there was a reason for it okay eight of cups in the reverse they're feeling regret tell me more holy spirit tell me more death and rebirth Ooh, pisces they're scared that this is like dead and gone like this is over Okay, so they're hoping Pisces that there may be a transformation or a new beginning, but for a lot of them Pisces, they're they're thinking it's over, like it's dead. Okay, um, so death and rebirth, eight of cups in the reverse. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Okay, the wheel of fortune in the reverse, the ten of cups in the reverse, ten ten. Okay, tens are endings. Ten ten ten. Okay, you got three tens coming in, and we have the strength in the reverse. Uh, okay, so 8-8. Eight, eight. <sighs> Pisces, this person's luck ran out, okay? I don't know if you gave this person, you know, a few chances, you know, the benefit of the doubt or multiple opportunities, but their luck ran out, okay, in your life, okay? Like, you don't really have much patience, okay, for them. You don't really have much like care okay like i just feel like this i don't feel any kind of negative emotion coming from you whatsoever okay i just feel like you may not feel anything okay like there may be nothing there anymore like you may have lost interest okay because when you care you care all the way pisces like that's the thing about you when you love you love hard and you love all the way okay but when you don't you don't like you're just as cold okay like you can flip that switch and it's done it's gone it's over um, so it's like this person tested their luck with you, okay? They tried to play Russian roulette here, okay? And their luck ran out in your life, okay? Ten of cups in the reverse. They're feeling, um, emotionally voided, okay? Emotionally empty, emotionally unfulfilled, okay? Pisces, when you detach your energy, people can feel it, okay? You could be miles away, okay? You could have not really said much or talked, but it's like when you decide to detach your energy or pull your energy away, people feel that, okay? Um, even if they're not intuitive, even if they don't understand energy or how it works. But the Ten of Cups is like they felt when you pulled your cups away, okay? Uh, strength in the reverse. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. And before I even say anything, because I'm, I'm already getting a message here, I'm going to clarify this before I even say anything. Holy Spirit, clarify the strength in the reverse. Clarify the strength in the reverse. The devil. The seven of wands in the upright. The hermit in the reverse. Okay. The three of swords in the upright. And the hierophant in the upright. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move these cards a little bit. Okay. Pisces, um, you know what I'm getting here? This is the thing, Pisces. You're you're so good on your own, Pisces, that you may even be better alone, okay? Um, this is the thing, Pisces. Some people may bring out different sides of you, okay? But you're not really going to invest into a person, Pisces, where it's where you know there's uh, a toxic energy there, okay? Where you know that they're playing games, where you know that, you know, there's some negativity attached to them because here's the thing, Pisces, and you're very intuitively aware, okay? Some people, when you hang out with them, when you talk to them, you feel drained afterwards, okay? You feel tired afterwards. You feel like you didn't really gain anything from the situation. You may even feel a little bit apathetic. You may even take on some of their energy, okay? But other people, Pisces, in your life, okay? It's like they give you energy, they give you inspiration, they spark your creativity. And not a lot of people can do that for you, okay? You may be able to do that for a lot of people, but not a lot of people can do that for you, okay? So it's like you're, you're really Pisces, you are a whole being, okay? Like you're full on your own. That's the thing about you. You don't need anybody, okay? You can choose to want them, okay? If they're bringing positive energy, if they're 
giving to the connection if it's mutually beneficial, but if they're taking away, if they're playing games, if they're testing you or trying you or testing their luck with you, it's like you really don't need them, okay? And it's not coming from a place of animosity. It's not coming from a place of, you know, it's not coming from a place of bad energy. It's just coming from a place like you're good on your own. You've been doing a lot of inner work and you're not gonna let anybody disturb your peace, okay? They're not gonna disturb your peace, okay? They don't deserve your peace and they're not gonna disturb your peace. The Seven of Wands Pisces is saying, you are vibrating, okay? You are vibrating higher, okay, than a lot of these people, okay? You're vibrating higher than the hate, you're vibrating higher than the uh, animosity, you're vibrating higher than, you know, the kind of games that they try and play, okay? So they really can't get to you, okay? They can't penetrate your force field, Pisces. Because you are a very positive person, you are naturally high vibrational, okay? That the more that you kind of keep to yourself, the more you conserve your energy, okay? The more clear that you feel, the more energized you feel, okay? So not everybody gets to come into your field. Not everybody gets to come into your bubble, okay? And no matter how they feel towards you, Pisces, whatever kind of hate, whatever kind of, you know, um, criticism or gossip they want to send your way, you're vibrating too high for them, okay? So it's not penetrating your field, Pisces. The Seven of Wands is an energy of protection, okay? This is an energy of being fully sealed and protected as you continue to do your thing and shine your light, okay? Because you are being seen, you are being recognized, and all these haters, this is the haters card, by the way, they can't get to you, okay? A lot of the people that were friends, okay, or family, or, you know, co-workers, your business partners, or even love interests, okay, tried to compete with you. They were naturally haters, okay, in your field, eight of cups in the reverse. You walked away, they're feeling regret, and they're replaying conversations to see exactly where they went wrong, okay? But for a lot of them, Pisces, they tried their faith, okay? They tried they tried their luck. They played their luck with you, okay? Too many times, the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. They, they ran out of luck. They ran out of time to be in your life, okay? The door has closed officially on a lot of them, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is a 10, done and over. But for this one person, okay? Or maybe two or three people here, it's like they're on that last, you know, they're on that last, whatever the saying is, like they're on that last chance because that door is shutting close, okay? So it's like you may even be willing to listen to what they have to say, but some of them, they feel like it's useless, okay? Like it's pointless. They feel like you're already done with them, okay? That's how they're feeling mentally. That's what they're thinking. Uh, the devil coming in. Yeah, Pisces, you notice that these people are still like immature, okay? They could be older in years or younger in years, but it has nothing to do with their level of maturity, okay? If they want to play games, if they want to play childish games, like, you know, you're going to leave them playing by themselves kind of situation, okay? Whoever this person was, and I'm getting multiple people try to do this, Pisces, it's like they try and like test you, okay? They try and push some buttons here and there um, just to see what you're gonna do, just to see how you're gonna react, just to see the type of person that you are. And a lot of them Pisces, they underestimate you, okay? Because when you meet someone, it's like they're on a clean blank slate, okay? Like you give them the benefit of the doubt until they give you a reason not to trust them, okay? Until you get intuitive messages or energies that no longer align, that's when you start to close off. That's when you start to pull your energy away. Um, so devil in the upright coming in Pisces, whoever this person is, they're used to playing toxic games, okay? They have toxicity in their life. They may even be a toxic person, uh, but the devil coming in means that they are puppeteered, okay? By their uh, addictions, by their obsessions, by the kinds of influences that they have in their life, okay? And I'm getting Pisces that your influence, your pull on this person is so strong that if you wanted to, Pisces, you could pull some strings, okay? But I'm not getting that you're that kind of a person, okay? I just see you so, like, focused in self. You don't have time for that, okay? You don't really have the desire to do that, okay? You really could if you wanted to, okay? But you're not that kind of a person, okay? Like, you could pull some strings and you could get this person to do pretty much anything you wanted, Pisces, but you're not like that, okay? You don't need other people like that, Pisces. Like, you're whole and you're good on your own, Okay, it doesn't really benefit you to play these games. It's like, what do you actually get out of it? Okay, like to show somebody that you're right. Like I told you so, like you don't really get much joy from that. Okay, like you have other, you know, you have your attention in other places. Okay, in your life, you have other priorities. So the devil coming in, uh, if they could, they would. Okay, like trust me, Pisces, if they could get a chance with you, if they could get one up on you, Pisces, if they could, they would. All right. And you could, but you don't really want to, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting, Pisces. This is why you...
you tend to be the bigger person in a lot of these dynamics, okay? But when you're done, you're done, okay? Like you're not really engaging in these games anymore, okay? So your energy is reserved at this time, the hermit in the reverse. You pulled away, full on Pisces. They feel like your energy is not there anymore. Like they can't really feel for a pulse, okay? Um, it's like before Pisces, when a person is connected to you, Pisces, because you are so intuitive, it's like when you think about them, it's like they send you a text like right away. Like your energy, Pisces, is very, very powerful. It's very strong. It has a pull. That's why Pisces is the oldest sign on the zodiac wheel. Okay, They have a lot of wisdom and also a lot of responsibility when it comes to their energy and how they use their energy and their psychic abilities and their intuition. Okay, um, It's like you really could if you wanted to Pisces, but you don't, you don't play games with people. Okay. You don't like to make people feel bad. You don't really like, you don't like that. Okay. And what I'm getting with them is like, if they could, they would. Okay. If they could really get one up on people like that, like they would. Okay. And they do every chance that they get. But with you Pisces that backfired. Okay. The wheel of fortune in the reverse, they ran out of luck. They ran out of time. Okay. You know, they played Russian roulette with this friendship, with this connection, with this dynamic. And yeah, now they're out of the cold. Okay. Feeling regrets. Eight of Cups because you walked away. The Hermit, nine, uh, card number nine. So nine, nine coming in, conclusions, okay? Uh, they no longer feel your energy around them whatsoever. So Pisces, this person is this person is in pain, okay? They're feeling pain in their heart, okay? Because you pulled away. Three of Swords is coming in, nine of Swords. We got a lot of Swords energy. Um, so they're really in their thoughts. They're really in their mind about this, okay? They feel like you're gone for good, Pisces. Pisces, this person is starting to, I'm feeling Pisces that whatever they did to other people, it's like they feel like they're getting some kind of karma with you, okay? Pisces, you know what I'm getting here? And I don't want to like, I don't want to, <laughs> this is not, I'm not trying to like build your ego or boost your ego, Pisces, whatsoever. But what I'm getting here is this person's world, this person's reality, okay, is pretty much great. Um... As in, like, they may even feel numb, okay, like, all the time, okay? Their reality is pretty much, like, gray. I wouldn't even say black and white. Like, it's just gray. Um, and you, you kind of brought color into their life, Pisces. Your energy, when you allow a person to truly connect to you, Pisces, they can really feel your energy, okay? This is why people love to be around you, okay? This is why your energy is so magnetic. This is why you're an uplifter. People love your vibe. They may not even know why, but they feel something towards you, okay? Because you bring color to people's lives, Pisces. Again, you are represented by Neptune. That's the planet of fantasies and dreams. Um, yeah, so it's like you may have brought color into this person's life. You may have made them feel something, Pisces, when all they were used to is just gray, okay? Maybe they were living a very, like, mundane, like, I don't want to say boring, Pisces. I don't want to really just, like, use that word like that. But it's like you brought color, Pisces. And now that the color is gone, they're not numb anymore. But what they're feeling is pain, okay? So it's like you make this person feel, okay? But they don't like what they're feeling right now. It's like... This person may have been, <laughs> I don't, okay, I don't even want to say that, Pisces. This person may have been, this, this person may have been in a place, Pisces, where they do things to feel something, okay? Whether it's a rush, whether it's, you know, in, it's some kind of something, Pisces, to remind them that they're alive, okay? Because either they got into the habit of a very mundane reality, okay? A very boring kind of, you know, reality. And um, it's like, they would rather feel something than not feel anything, okay? But at this time, they're wanting to feel nothing at all because what they're feeling, Pisces, is pain. What they're feeling is anxiety. What they're feeling is even like, you know, like desperation, okay? Isolation, maybe even like depression, okay? The nine of swords, the three of swords are painful cards, okay? Um, they represent heartbreak, painful endings, betrayal, like just feeling like you have like nine swords stabbed through your back kind of situation, okay? Um, so it's like this person is feeling, but what they're feeling is pain after Eight of Cups, after you've walked away. The Hierophant. Card number five. Pisces, what I'm getting here is you change, okay? You shift people's paradigms. You upgrade their paradigms, okay? When they come into your reality, um, it's like you give them a new view of life, okay? It's like they love to view life through your eyes, 
okay? Um, and it's not everybody gets the privilege to do that, okay? Not everybody gets the privilege to do that, Pisces, because if you want to, you can close off your energy real quick, okay? But when you allow people to do so, it's like they feel blissful, okay? They feel joy, okay, in your energy. They feel happy, Pisces. Like, your smile, okay? Your smile makes other people smile. Your laugh makes other people laugh. Like your joy is contagious, okay? Because you have that energy amplification, okay? That's exactly what I was talking about with the Queen of Wands, okay? See how this flower is just opening up, okay? And as the flower opens up, the light starts to pour in, okay? It's like you bring light into people's lives, Pisces. It's your energy, it's your vibe. It's all the work that you've been doing inside of you, Pisces. It's felt energetically, okay? They don't understand why you're so different. Yeah, okay? You see the, the smiles, the laughs in both of these cards? They're representing your energy, Pisces. But when you want to, okay, you can close off and look away as well, okay? Just as easy as they can come into your life, okay? Like, that's as easy as you can cut them off, okay? Like, and, and be done, okay? Just as, you know, they can feel this warmth of your energy exuding from you, they can also feel this, like, ice cold, okay? Like, they're cut out and now you're distant, okay? Like, it's like you can flip that switch very quick, Pisces, and they will find out very quick where they stand in your life, okay? And this person, again, it's like, they feel like they got on your bad side. They're trying to get back into your good graces, but they think like you're done with them, okay? Nine of swords, they're deep in thought, anxiety, it's keeping them up at night. The devil, because of their toxic ways, okay? Because of their toxic ways, this is why, Pisces, this person keeps playing themselves, is what I'm getting here with the devil. They, they think that they're playing others, but in the end, they end up playing themselves, okay? Like, the joke's on them is what I just heard. The joke's on you, okay? Like, the joke's on them, okay? Like, that's what I heard, Pisces. Like, yeah, this person played themselves trying to play you, okay? And not just you, but other people. They feel like you're their karma for playing others as well, okay? I'm getting a lot coming in from these cards, Pisces, but I'm getting very specific messages, um, and I don't know, I'm not going to do, I don't think I'm going to do an extended for this Pisces, but I'm going to go ahead and pull some more clarifiers. We'll pull some advice Pisces. I want to see what this death and rebirth represents because for some of you Pisces, I'm getting like, you're done. Okay. Like you're done. It's over. Okay. We got a lot of tens here. Okay. But for others of you Pisces, you may, you may be willing to consider listening to what they have to say. Okay. Because it's a nine, meaning it's closing up. They got a small window of opportunity to make things right, but death and rebirth is here, okay? Meaning that things cannot be the way that they used to be, okay? This person's either gonna change and transform and come and rebirth, okay? Or it's dead, it's gone, okay? This is why it says death and rebirth, okay? You brought a spiritual ego death to this person, Pisces. Their ego doesn't fit in your world, okay? That's what I'm getting. Their ego has no place in your world, in your reality, in your frequency, okay? Here, this person has a lot of respect for you, okay? Like, they do have respect for you because they seen, Pisces, how you treat other people, okay? Like, you treat people with respect, but when you're done, you're done, okay? Like, you don't play games. You don't, you don't like the drama. You don't like the fighting. You don't like the conflict. Like, that's just not you. You don't feed those energies. So this person, they feel Pisces. Like, they may not even understand why, okay? But when it comes to you, they act different, okay? They treat you differently than how they treat and speak to everybody else in their life and their world. Like, they do have a high level of respect, Pisces, and they may not even understand why, okay? But when it comes to you, like if you were in a dynamic Pisces where you're with this person and a group of people, okay? Like the people that know this person, they would be surprised to how they treat you, okay? Because they can't treat you like they treat everybody else, okay? And it's something that's implied, okay? It's something that's like energetic. Like you don't really have to say it, okay? For them to know that there is like a, like a spiritual hierarchy in a sense. Like they, like they gotta come in with respect. They gotta come in correct or like don't come at all, okay? Like, you, there's something to your energy, Pisces, because the Harfont talks about someone who holds a very high position of uh, power when it comes to the divine, okay? The Harfont is someone who is respected, okay? This is the priest of the tarot, okay? So there's an energy about you, Pisces, spiritually, that even if people are not spiritual, even if they're not open to their intuition, they know this, okay? They feel this off of you, and they know that you are someone that is meant to be respected, Okay, they got to treat you with care, like they know that. 
So I don't know what happened here in this dynamic Pisces where either they were a little bit careless. I don't know what happened, okay? But you you detached, you walked away, you removed your energy from the equation. They feel like they run out of time, Pisces. That's what they're thinking. Holy Spirit, clarify the death and rebirth. Clarify the death and rebirth. I want to see what's going to happen with this uh, change, okay? Because they, they had a death, okay? For sure, a death of the ego, okay? But who's to say that you're going to be a part of the rebirth, okay? Who's to say that you're going to allow them back into your energy, okay? Because every death does come with a rebirth, but you may not be a part of that, okay? Um, if you decide to not let this person back into your life. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, five of pentacles. Ooh, Pisces, this person feels abandoned, okay? They feel locked out in the cold. They may even have abandonment issues, Pisces. See how both of these cards is the same fetal position, Okay. Different cards, the same position, clarifying their energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull a few more cards, Pisces, because for some of you, you're done, okay? And they know that. But for others of them, they may have a chance, Pisces, to make things right. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. King of Pentacles in the reverse. That's too many cards. I'm not going to take those cards. Holy Spirit, clarify the death and rebirth. What do you want Pisces to know? Clarify the death and rebirth. What do you want Pisces to know? Four of Wands in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse. Their lack of action, Pisces, their lack... Okay, so in their mind, Pisces, they're thinking, this is done, it's pointless, it's useless for me to try. Pisces is gone, okay? So their lack of action, okay, may be the reason why you permanently close this door, okay? Because the Page of Wands is this card of... In the upright, it says you're taking action, you're going for something, okay? Even if this is this person's last shot, okay, they gotta go for it, okay? But in the reverse, it's saying... They have defeated themselves mentally to think that, you know, like you're done, it's over, okay? So they don't even think that there's any point in trying, okay? So they're holding back action, four of ones, and that is leading to a separation, okay? Um, I don't know, Pisces. I want to ask what's going to happen in this connection, but I don't know if I should, okay? Because I feel like it's going to be different for a lot of you. I'm getting some of you, Pisces, like a, sm a small number of you, like you're willing to hear what this person has to say, like you would want them to make it right, okay, for a small number of you. And for others of you, you're just too focused on what you got going on, on new connections, you know, new people coming in, new opportunities coming into your life, okay? But I'm getting that for a small number of you, like you would want this person to make it right, okay? But there's a lack of action, page of wands. The lack of action is causing the separation because four of wands in the upright, okay? In the upright, it talks about union. In the reverse, it talks about separation. This person is missing the signs, Pisces. Like, they're, like, stuck in their head. They're thinking worst-case scenario here. Huh. Why the King of Pentacles in the reverse? Holy Spirit, clarify the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in the reverse? The star in the reverse. Yep, yeah. they lost hope or faith, Pisces, in this connection, okay? Um, I don't know what they did. I don't know what they said, Pisces. If they were playing games with you, like if they gave you the silent treatment or if they pulled away, you know, I don't know what happened here, okay? But they did something, Pisces, that caused you to walk away because you don't just get up and leave like randomly, like on a whim. Like something had to have happened for you to walk away, okay? So they know that they did something. They know that they said something, they did something that caused you to walk away, okay? Because of that, they're losing faith and hope that you know, that this could even work out, that they could even, like, the distance is so much now, okay, the silence is so much, you know, that they don't think that they can close the distance, okay, and now they're losing hope or faith, okay, wow, <sighs> Pisces, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why this energy is here of, like, you would have wanted this person to make things right, okay, or you may have wanted them to show up correct, okay, it's not like you need it, it's not like you, you know, want it want it okay but there's that opportunity that if they would have shown up correct or made things right like you may have given them another chance okay and now there's this like self-defeating energy that's coming from them what's going to happen with this person holy spirit what's going to happen with this person i feel like i shouldn't ask that okay but i want to okay because the more i clarify the more specific the reading gets that's why i'm going to start to create extended readings for the ones that resonate with it 
um, because I try and keep it as general as possible, but I, I feel like someone wants to know what's going to happen in this connection. Again, if you would like a personal reading, Pisces, um, you can go ahead and book the reading. The information is in the description box below if you want your personal cards read. I'm going to just keep these messages as general as possible, Pisces, so that everybody gets what they need from the message. Uh, so seven of swords, what's going to happen in this connection? If this person can't change their ways, Pisces, if this person... Okay, here's the thing, Pisces. Uh, you you know things before they happen, okay? You're 10 steps ahead because you follow your intuition, okay? So you can see when someone is in integrity, you can see when someone is being deceptive, when someone is coming out from a place of shadow, okay? Like, you know those things. You may not say it, okay? You may give people, you know, a chance to kind of correct themselves uh, kind of situation, but I'm seeing here Seven of Swords. This person is so used to Pisces playing games to get what it is that they want that when they're encountering someone like you, someone who already knows, someone who can see right through them, someone who can see the games that they're playing, okay? Uh, it's like, <laughs> Pisces, like, the player is getting played, okay? And it's not that you're a player, but they, they are Pisces. They play these games, and those games just don't work on you. So Seven of Swords, this person feels like the only way that they can get what they want in life, okay, in general, is if they are deceptive, is if they're manipulative, is if they, you know, try to um, get in people's psyche, okay? Like, that's how they feel like they have to move in life, okay? And that's exactly what got them cut out of your life, okay? So it's like they're not learning the lesson. I'm not seeing them learning the less than Pisces because the reason they got cut out okay is because they were playing games but in their mind they're thinking okay I got cut out because I got caught no Pisces always knew that you were playing games okay but they were giving you a chance to come correct okay and it's like there's something in this person that already knows that you know okay so it's like there's no point in playing games but in their mind, they're thinking, oh, I just need to be smarter. Oh, I just need to be slicker. Oh, I just need to say the right thing. Oh, I just need to be more intelligent than Pisces. I just need to get, you know, one up on Pisces. If Pisces is 10 steps ahead, I just need to catch up. Like, that's this person's mentality instead of saying, hey, you know what? I got caught. Let me come in and be honest. Because obviously, they want to be in your life. They obviously want to keep this connection. Okay? That's what I'm getting. This is why they're deep in thought. Okay? So instead of thinking, hey, let me come correct, let me be honest, let me lay my cards on the table and just show up honestly, okay? Because it's like kind of like they're shooting their last shot, okay? And this is their opportunity to come clean and make things right. And it's like they're using that final opportunity to try to like yeah, maneuver their way back in there. Okay? So it's like they're they're not learning the lesson, is what I'm seeing here, Pisces. I'm, I'm, Pisces, I'm feeling a bit like frustrated, a bit like pissed off. And this is not even like, oh, wow, Pisces. I feel like I'm connecting with someone very specific here. Feels like a personal reading, honestly, Pisces. Um, so I don't know for who this is, but it's like they're not, they're sorry they got caught, okay? Like if they got caught in the lie, if they got caught manipulating, if they got caught like trying to play games to get a certain kind of reaction, like they're not sorry, okay, for their actions, okay? Because now you're now you're gone, you've walked away, okay? So instead of trying to get you back by being, hey, like honest, like, hey, I know what I did and I know that like, you, like coming correct, right? Like laying their cards on the table. Um, it's like, no, they're gonna use that last opportunity to try to maneuver their way back in there without actually changing their behavior, okay? I don't, I think this person is very hard-headed, but I think that this person, Pisces, thinks that they're slick. They think that they're smart, okay? Mm, yeah, Pisces, this person has a big ego, okay? Like, that's what I'm getting. It usually works with everybody else, but for some reason, it doesn't work on you, okay? They may say all the right words, but their words are empty, okay? Like, you're not gonna fall for words kind of situation. Mm, Pisces, oh, I'm not liking this person at all, okay? That Seven of Swords card, Pisces, is one of my least favorite cards in the entire reading, okay? Like, I dislike this card even more, okay, than the Devil card. Because the Devil card will talk about us getting out of toxicity, liberation from toxicity, okay? Seven of Swords is just deceptive, okay? It's just being strategic. It's just, you know, doing things in the dark, doing things from a place of shadow, okay? Um, yeah, I do not like that card whatsoever. And see how we have a lot of swords in their energy? This person is in their head a lot, okay? Uh, so meaning they're an air sign, okay? Or they're just in their thoughts, in their mind a lot, okay? They live in their head. Holy Spirit, what is your advice for Pisces when it comes to the Seven of Swords?
Ace of Pentacles. The Magician in the reverse. The Hangman in the reverse. Pisces, you played the player, okay? Like, uh, Pisces, oh my gosh. I, I don't know how to explain the energy that I'm feeling right now, okay? Magician in the reverse represents Gemini. It doesn't have to be Gemini, okay? But I'm getting Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy coming in very strong. Um, could also be Aries for some of you, okay? I don't know why that's coming in. For others of you, it may even be a Pisces. I don't want to say it's another Pisces, but we have the hangman here in the reverse. Um, but here's what I'm going to say, Pisces, because this is spirit's advice for you when it comes to dealing or handling a seven of swords situation. Okay. The magician is saying, Pisces, you can outwit them. Okay. You can outsmart them. Okay. You can play them really good. Okay. Like you can, if you wanted to, you could kind of situation. Uh, <laughs> if you wanted to Pisces, you could. All right. But what I'm getting here is. Spirit kind of wants you to teach this person a lesson, okay? And I usually don't say this, Pisces, but the magician in the reverse is someone who can reverse the energy back, okay? Uh, magician in the reverse can also talk about manipulation, okay? It can talk about having a hidden agenda, okay? But I feel, Pisces, here that Spirit kind of wants you to, like, teach them a lesson, kind of give them a taste of their own medicine. And what I mean by this, Pisces, is the hangman in the reverse, where you usually take a step back and give people the benefit of the doubt, where you usually stay in situations or relationships that are not beneficial to you, where you usually tend to put other people ahead of your own needs, okay? Spirit is saying, nah, Pisces, you're done with that. Don't do that anymore, okay? You are not helping yourself and you're not helping anybody else by doing that to yourself, okay? Like, for example, if you don't want someone to feel bad, okay? And you kind of just don't say something, okay? Like, you know, you notice a situation where something's not right, but you don't want to make the other person feel bad, so you kind of hold back. Like, Spirit is saying, don't do that, Pisces, because this person needs to learn this lesson once and for all, and you also don't need to put yourself through that, okay? It's not benefiting anyone for you to be passive or to kind of like take a step back or stay in a situation that is toxic or not beneficial to you, okay? Do not self-sacrifice and do not stick around for situations and people that are in this energy, okay? Um, so for some of you Pisces, like, yeah, walk away, close that door once and for all, like, don't play those games. Uh, and for others of you Pisces, the magician in the reverse, spirit is kind of saying that this energy is going to reverse back on them, okay? So if you wanted to, you could, and this would teach the person the lesson, um, and you would not be taken for granted. You would not be walked all over, okay? Um, you would show this person. See what it is that they, they're doing, okay? And this cycle ends here, okay? Because you're not doing anybody any favors by staying in this connection, okay? Or staying in the situation, you know? Um, like, this is not the place, okay? It's not the time or the place for you to self-sacrifice, okay? Uh, but what Spirit is saying, Magician in the reverse, is you can show your cards to this person, okay? Like, if you're ready to close this door once and for all, okay, and this person's trying to come back in with this energy, you can lay your cards on the table and show them, okay, a reflection of themselves, okay? Um, it's kind of like, I'm getting reverse psychology, Pisces. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> I'm getting, like, you could reverse this back on them. Um, but what I'm getting here overall, Ace of Pentacles, Spirit is saying, Pisces, your advice is focus on your new beginning. Focus on your pentacle, okay, in your life because you got a lot of success coming into your life. That ace of pentacles, Pisces, is turning to a full-on ten of pentacles, okay? So you got a lot to look forward to. You got a lot going on in your life, okay? And if this person wants to be a part of your life, they got to come in correct, Pisces, or do not come at all is what I'm hearing. The seven of swords, Pisces, is saying this person is still going to be playing games. They're still going to be deceptive, okay? Uh, this person tends to self-sabotage, okay, the good things in their life, in the world, the magician in the reverse, okay, uh, hidden agendas, hidden motives, okay, they have hidden intentions, what they say, what they do, how they act, it all has, it, it's all a game, Pisces, okay, uh, to this person, and I, I do not like this energy, okay, so spirit's advice is focus on your new beginning, okay, Holy Spirit, what is your advice for Pisces when it comes to the magician in the reverse? Nine of Wands. Protect yourself, okay? Yeah. Keep your boundaries strong. Protect yourself. If this person is not coming in correct, Pisces, like, yeah. 
come correct or don't come at all is what I just heard, okay? Nine of Wands is saying, Pisces, keep your boundaries strong, protect yourself. And yeah, okay, uh, if you're feeling defensive, okay, if you're feeling your fight or flight or your warrior come up, okay, it's for a reason. It's because this person is being deceptive. So don't question yourself. Don't question your intuition, okay, Pisces? There's a reason. If your walls come up, if your boundaries um, or your, your walls get triggered, okay, your defenses get triggered, it's for a reason. Yeah, Pisces, I'm seeing here, I'm not liking this person's energy, okay? Um, because they're not changing, they're just trying to get slick, okay? They're not changing, they're not transforming, they're just trying to get smarter, okay? Yeah, no, Pisces. This is the kind of person where they're trying to kind of like figure you out, okay? They're trying to understand how your mind works, how you know what you know, okay? Not because they genuinely, you know, un want to understand you, okay? And feel connected to you, but because they want to manipulate that, okay? That's that's what I'm getting. 56, 56 on the clock, Pisces. Holy Spirit, what is your advice for Pisces when it comes to this reading? What is your advice for Pisces when it comes to this reading? Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, I love this for you, Pisces. And we have a final card, Five of Wands. Okay. Um, Pisces, uh, Spirit's advice is Knight of Pentacles, keep working on your craft, keep working on your thing. You're very close, Pisces. You're about to turn an ace into a 10, okay? And there's work that takes place in between, okay? This is the daily mundane things. This is your routine. Yeah, this is the daily work, okay? You've planted those seeds. It started with one seed, okay? That ace turns into a Knight of Pentacles, okay? How you live your life on a practical day-to-day -day basis to bring about this 10 of Pentacles. You're about to go from an ace to a 10 of Pentacles. So Spirit wants you focused, Pisces, and grounded when it comes to your Pentacles, okay? Uh, when it comes to your daily life. Seven of Cups. Remove any kind of confusing energies out of your life, whether this is people that are confusing you, people that are indecisive, people that have their hand in too many pots, people who are not clean with their energy, okay? Remove that from your life because there's no reason for you to be confused or unsure uh, about a situation. You see all that fogginess, okay? You see the snakes, the bats, and the ladders. Like, there's no reason for you to play these games, okay? Uh, and Knight of Cups. Spirit is saying, Pisces, that you're going to have a lot of offers coming to you, okay? Romantic, business, friendship partnership like a lot of offers coming to you but you're gonna have to vet these offers okay you're gonna have to use your discernment and your intuition okay um because a lot of them pisces they feel an attraction towards you okay and they want to be in your life but at the same time they're competing okay toxically they may have jealousy or envy towards you okay and there's this energy of competition there's this energy of trying to one-up you okay uh which I, I they can't pisces that's what i'm getting they can't nine of wands your walls and your boundaries are strong okay so they can't one-up you okay but that's the energy that they're coming in with so be careful of offers coming in pisces um like be sure that you're trusting your intuition if your defenses get triggered okay if your walls come up it's for a reason trust that okay six of wands protect yourself pisces because you are coming into major success major victory look seven of wands six of wands pisces again this is the haters card okay meaning that you got haters because you are doing your thing you are shining your light you are winning you are succeeding and there's a need for you to protect that see how it's only you okay this is a one man one woman army kind of situation you are being celebrated there's a lot of people around you but they're not in your circle okay so not everybody gets to come and get to know you okay like that not everybody gets to have access to your energy like that okay so six of wands to seven of wands i'm being guided to tap into these energies pisces because this is the energy of success okay there's a lot of success around you okay you're coming into major success so six of wands coming in pisces uh badass success leadership accomplishments being seen becoming an influencer victory optimism inspiring others I am worthy of the success and I am grateful that I am seen. Relish the sweetness of this victory. Something that you've been working towards is finally coming to a successful fruition and it's time to celebrate your wins, beautiful seer. Gift yourself permission to bask in the warm glow of accomplishment and allow the supportive community around you to witness and appreciate the progress you've made. Taking time to see your own radiance is as important as making the next move on your journey. Accepting success will seed more of it. Others will turn to you for wisdom now. So step up and share your brilliance. In shadow, this card points to shying away from public attention and hiding your light from the world. Uh, it may also indicate someone who craves external validation instead of turning to their own inner compass to define success. Remember that no one else in the world has your magic and that the most important person to impress wholeheartedly is yourself, okay? To the seven of wands, okay? Protect yourself. 
okay? Protect your energy because you do have haters around you, okay? See how we go five of ones, six of ones, seven of ones, okay? A lot of the people that admire you and also, you know, feel attracted towards you, they also have a little bit of envy and jealousy and want to compete with that, Pisces. They also want to test you and try you, okay? So be careful of these energies. They're not all your friends, Pisces. Uh, so seven of ones, challenge, grounding and protecting yourself, movement and growth, creative innovation, remaining ahead, feeling vulnerable, a sign to continue to share your ideas and self-expression. Uh, I am deserving of the success and I will bravely shine my light into the world. Haters, they'll emerge only after you made it onto your perch, whipping their wands uh, about and asking you to defend your accomplishments. Sometimes competition, okay, this is the card of toxic competition. Sometimes competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. If you're feeling attacked after sharing your magic, it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do your beautiful thing. Mindfully call feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protective bubble of energy around you. Remain synchronized and aligned with your brightest vision and reject any low vibe negative states that others may be pushing. You don't have to accept their opinion as truth, especially when they are vying for your position. Check to make sure that you are acting in a way that is aligned with your highest values. And when you know that you are, don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. Pisces, wow, I, I love this for you. I'm gonna pull one Oracle card. We're already in over an hour here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one Oracle card and then wrap up this reading. Let's go ahead and see what comes in. Boundaries, okay, that's exactly what I was getting, Pisces. This is the card of protecting yourself, okay? Now we got an, a double confirmation coming from a different deck, okay? So boundaries, keep very strong boundaries, Pisces. Not everybody deserves to be in your world, okay? Happiness is coming into your life, okay? Uh, we got prey and strength. Pisces, your prayers have strengthened you on this journey, okay? When you pray, your prayers get answered, okay? Your prayers are a priority to the divine. Why? Because you have the Hierophant. You have a very close connection to the divine Pisces and you prioritize your connection to your higher self, to God, to the divine. And this is why you're strong, Pisces. You're very, very strong. You've endured, you've overcome. And you may not realize, Pisces, that that's not, that's not common, okay? The things that you've endured, the things that you've overcome, it's not common to make it out, okay? To make it out of the mud, okay? Because the lotus flower, okay, is born out of the mud. It's, you know, in this swampy, muddy puddle or water or pond, whatever it is. And it has to literally grow through that mud to finally reach the sunlight in the top of the pond. And it's a very beautiful flower, okay? So it's like you had to make it out of the mud, Pisces. You had to make it out of the gutter is what I'm hearing here. Like you were in a situation, Pisces, where the strength from the divine helped you rise and overcome, okay? So pray, Pisces, because it's giving you more strength, okay? Protect your happiness. Have very strong boundaries. Not everybody deserves to be in your world, Pisces. Pisces, this is all I have for your reading. Uh, if you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Blessings, take care.